morning, Administrator. So, are you getting used to these virtual meetings? Aha, Administrator, you're on mute. Professor Vern, why can't you invent an automatic unmute button? Hmm, that would kind of defeat the purpose. Anyway. Hey, isn't Robot supposed to join us? Robot, what's going on? We are practicing social distancing and playing bridge. Robot, you lackadaisical logic circuit. Professor Vern, Robot, that's enough. Now. On with our discussion. Yes, of course. I understand you wanted to talk about how electronic air ionizers are used to keep the air on our buses clean during this COVID-19 health emergency. That's right, Professor. Safety at MTA is our number one priority, and we're doing everything we can to protect our staff and our riders. Of course. Let's break this down. Everything what we call matter is made up of tiny atoms. Now. Atoms can be charged, much like when you get a static electricity shock. If an atom receives a positive or negative charge, we call it an ion. Now, Professor Vern, that sounds electrifying, but how do ions clean the air? Ah, we're getting to that, Administrator. Now, let's picture our air being contaminated with dust and other particles, and into this, is released a cloud of ions from an air ionizer. Now, remember that opposite charges attract each other and observe that the ions are attracted to the dirt particles. So they attach themselves and weigh them down so that they are now too heavy to float in the air. So now our air is clean. There's another excellent use for ions and that is to work to eliminate viruses from our air. So ions can destroy viruses? Well, actually, ions sort of disable the virus. You see, a virus particle called a viron is like a sophisticated machine whose purpose is to attach itself to a living cell, then pass along its infection. Observe the spikes that protrude from the viron. These work by penetrating the wall or membrane of a living cell, allowing the infection or DNA from the viron to enter the living cell. Now we see how a living cell is infected with a virus. Okay, Professor Vern, show me how the ionizer battles the virus. Battle? Uh, anyway, picture now an airborne virus being confronted by a cloud of ions from an air ionizer. Observe that the ions surround the virus particles. Now see that the ions break off the spikes from the virons. Lastly, now you see the virus is unable to infect living cells. Well, Administrator, to fully understand how electronic air ionizers clean the air on our bus fleet, we'll head over to the maintenance division to meet with our manager of quality control and warranty, Mr. James Cashdollar. Excellent, I can't wait to hear more. Hello, I'm Jim Cashdollar, Quality Control and Warranty Manager here at Bus Maintenance, and with me is Mr. Rick Rouse, one of our body shop technicians. The ionizer is a piece of equipment that we've installed on the bus. This will help improve the air quality and safety inside the bus. If you'd like, I'd like to show you what one looks like installed. Okay, as you can see right here where we have it installed, the uh, unit is the blue unit. It sits there and it, it pulls as the air comes through, back filtered through the filters and then back in, the uh, air is reionized and put back throughout the bus. Um, we measure that with a gauge. And right here we have an air ionized counter. It tells us how many particle, ionized particles there are in the air. So the unit will actually, the uh, particles in the air will stabilize between about 45 and 50 particles per thousand in the air. Over to you, Rick. So in an effort to protect our drivers and patrons and help them make feel safer riding the buses, we extended the driver's barrier and included a pull-down petition to help our drivers feel safer doing their jobs. 
The barrel also extends so you can swing it out and lock it in this position to keep all the patrons behind the yellow line. And in an effort to make our passengers feel safer, I use plexiglass and some various pieces from American Seedon and our 3D printing specialists. We created a few pieces, various pieces, to help make this all possible. To install plexiglass to help protect all of our patrons while riding on the buses at MTA. These are some of the uh, innovations that our bus maintenance team has come up to help protect our patrons and drivers while they're out servicing the public. I couldn't be prouder of our maintenance division and all our staff for the work they've done throughout this COVID-19 health emergency. Yes, Administrator, they are truly our frontline heroes. Wait, robot, I want you to install an electronic air ionizer in our lab. Ah, robot, you're on mute. Can you help me out here, buddy? Warning, 40,000 volts now in circuit. That should fix my new problem. Hey, can he or it do that for me? I mean, wouldn't everyone like to do that?